Nah, uh, good execution. Hopefully hopping into game number four now. Um, we'll see where we what map we get taken to. What's up? <laughs> Sorry. I'm just gonna read this. My team is fighting over haunted mines and black hearts, and I want out. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll choose for them. <laughs> I'd like to see a black hearts just host it. Um, I I want black hearts bay, so I'm gonna make that. <laughs> that's 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 literally uh, that's what we're doing. Same. I want Black Hearts Bay. I love Black Hearts Bay. So this is what we're gonna be making. This is it. Like you, you give me Haunted Minds of this. Uh, we've seen Haunted Minds. It's a little broken at the moment. And we'll so... ban Joanna. Global. <laughs> you get to tell them that one. I don't want to. I don't want to do the repercussions of that one. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Wait." No, this map's actually trash. I was joking. Uh, hmm. I mean, I was told Blackheart's Bay or Haunted and Haunted Mines, so I feel like I got a choice. Is this really a thing? What map you want then? Just, just Blackheart's Bay. Just, just Blackheart's Bay. Believe. I don't think they're gonna go through this. No, I actually just got a DM saying that my team's against it. Yeah. They want towers. That's fine. We'll teach. Uh, we'll teach them to not troll us. Hey. Uh, Otherwise, we will. All you, all you, all you uh, cool kids out there, when people give you options to meme, just do it. Just do it. Oh, we're getting, we're getting some sweaty games here. I get it though. I get it. Yeah. There's, no. It's, it's, it's for the greater There's money good. on the line here. There's yeah. a little bit. Of, there's some. There's some pizza, Taco Bell, Burger King. They're McDonald's. actually playing. They're playing to win right now. You can tell. Um, the drafts have been yeah, pretty, they're... pretty serious. They're, the bands have been pretty serious. Yeah, you you um, are right with that. They yeah they are taking it like they they want this. They want that. Hmm. They want that money. Uh, let's get you back in here. Sadly, and, uh, I gonna... want no Joanna and Blackheart's Bay. So that's our maybe uh maybe just the the Baja Splish Splash Summer Bash needs to happen, and maybe those will just be things. Maybe we just ban out heroes and we force people to play things that we want to see. Like poor Hot <laughs> says, playing towers instead of black hearts. Guess it's time for me to leave now. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! This well, is this is what towers is good. Though. Towers for. is good though. Let's let's be real. Was, towers like, is a good in map. any in any in any multi game series. I will admit, towers is one of my favorite maps uh, yeah. to go to. Uh, typically towards the end, just because of how back and forth it can be. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good Tassadar black hole map. You know what? Another plug for the Heroes Hearth YouTube page. There was a really good rank EU win with Grubby, and they had a really close game on Towers of Doom. I highly recommend you go check it out. <laughs> Seriously, like it's it's honest to God. I was watching it happen. And I was like standing in my office, like like really, we're gonna win. <sighs> win. We'll see. All right, all right. Should be jumping into this one soon. Again, it is gonna be Towers of Doom. Um, if I had to guess. I could play a game right now. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. I was gonna say I, I I was gonna guess all ten characters selected from each team before the okay. draft happened. Okay. Should I try? I, I mean, we're waiting. I mean, these teams like to take their time to 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 give us an R. So go. For okay. It. Um. Let me see if I do. I have a notepad. So do I have a pen somewhere on my desk? Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you here. You ramble them off to me. No, I got a, I got a, I got a napkin here and a pen. I'm gonna, Perfect. I can, I can get this done. All right, so on the side of bandits, it's uh -huh. gonna be right a Urel, mm -hmm. an Ana, an ETC, Sylv, and uh, Grayman. Okay. And then their first pick, right? So they'll first pick Ana. That means yeah, yeah. Joe Joe if Joe makes it through, we'll have a Joe, Ming, Stu, uh Chin. Uh Chin might get banned actually. Chen's been banned out consistently. If this Chin gets if Chin out. gets banned, it'll be a maybe a late Samra or Definitely. That's like the only Valmar's the only pick I don't know. It'll be the uh, uh, Samuro or it'll be Deathwing. I think those two. And then Tiger will play Kerrigan. 
So I have Joe, Ming, Stu, Chin, or Samuro, and Carrion on the left side. And on the mm -hmm. right, I have Yarel, Ana, ETC, Sylv, Greyman. All right, well, let's get into the draft and see what happens here, because yep. we do have our first ban just now coming through. And it's going to be an Abathur. All right, so Ralph's Raiders up two to one against the Bandit Bruisers. We might be seeing a 3-1 victory, or we go to a game number five. But Zul to be banned out, Abathur to be banned out, and uh, I I'll be surprised. This is the first time we're seeing Bandit Bruisers ban you know, other things outside of Valimar's hero pool, it feels. Yeah. Uh, there's no Chen ban yet. Um, we could see a Deathwing. Like, I, I don't know. Like, if they don't ban Deathwing, like, do you consider grabbing it early just because of, like, Skyfall value, his value? It's pretty good power? on the map, yeah. Yeah. Um, like... I, I would say it's a very good chance we see it. All right. So they've banned themselves out. And now my whole my whole draft is done. I didn't, ex I didn't expect them to ban themselves out but they they have opted to go into the ana which means that they're, they're going to prioritize the stukov and the sylvanas ban there's a joan on the right there's a joanna so they've they've now changed the entire course of this draft they picked up the That's joanna it. to counter the stew yeah that the, the, everything that i had predicted got shot with that ana ban interesting well, <laughs> sometimes well, it happens like that Chad is trying to chime in as well, and uh, Funz is saying that Tiger J JK will definitely go Maev. We'll see, we'll see. But Chat's trying to chime I in. Had, a little bit I got the Ming switched. and the ETC, so those two switch. Those two switch. The Joe had to be picked because it needed to counter the Stu pick, and now the Stu Gray Man is swapped. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm. So the Gray Man is correct here. We, yeah. I, I think everything else should now fall into place. Okay, you, let's. Other see. Other than the Maev, the Maev pick. It could, it's either gonna be a Maev or Kerrigan. I, I like that. That's I, I true personally funds. would love a Kerrigan. Um, my value is massive. You know, Warden's Cage plus Mosh Pit. But Kerrigan, Ultralisk is cool. Uh, uh, not Unbridled Strength. That's what she says when you pick her. Uh, the Psionic Storm, or Ma Maelstorm. Maelstorm mm -hmm. is a really, really powerful tool from her as well. Actually, the members of uh, Ralph's Raider is going to ban out the Deathwing on, on their side this time. They're they're actually saying that they don't want to potentially go up against it, which is a little surprising. Yeah. Um, is that, this a Chen ban? Is Chen, this that means a, that means Valmar Spurrow. is going for Chen, yeah. Uh, the Deathwing ban they basically don't want Liam to have the Deathwing, so they can't have the Chen. So this is like put them in like a they have to ban Chen or else, mm -hmm. and then if they do, then he'll just play Samra. And they ban the Rhaegar. So I, I don't the really lust, yeah. uh, it's good because it, it would it would have been helpful with the Samra pick, but I assumed that they were gonna take a Deckard Kane actually. Especially mm -hmm. after the rework. Yeah, no, he's so powerful right now. And this is actually a really yeah. good map for Deckard. Uh, being able to just throw pot potions in between rotations, uh, it's going to be really, really powerful for them. Um, Falls up with really a Lee Ming. There's, there's yeah. a Chen coming in. So we will see that. Wandering Keg. So get your Keg Ws in chat ready. And Anduin. Anduin gonna be well. I actually, I like the Anduin. Because if Chen kicks too far in, or maybe Greymane's diving, and they just... I, I, I like it. I actually really like the Anduin pickup. It's a cleanse into a Joanna one-shot comp. So for that reason, yeah, I, I, I'm feeling it too. Um, the other thing too is uh, Anduin did get some changes in the most recent patch. There was one where, uh, is it 13, I believe? He has one where he can actually get um, cooldown reduction on his... Well, that's not what I was expecting. That was not what I wrote down. <laughs> <laughs> but he can, get, uh, he can get cooldown reduction off of his Divine Star, I believe at level 13, and it's just as as the Divine Star is coming back, as long as it, when it hits a hero, you get like a, a second off of your off of cooldown. So I think that's just a really cool one, especially yeah. if you're going to be in a lot of clumped up team fights, you might be able to get some CDR value from that. But Dahakam Medivh, that's this, definitely not what we are expecting. It shuts down the Kerrigan, I, I, I think, too. This might... I don't know... Tiger's gonna go Mayev still, or Rain? Yeah, Rainer. Okay, I was gonna say this if he wants. I I don't really. I almost said Rain. Like I don't think I've ever seen Tiger play Rainer though, so I'm kind of weirded out by that. He's not a very difficult character, but like this is not a very Tiger character either. If he's if he's like, Tiger typically is fairly <laughs> low, like vocal. I'm sorry. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I can see draft chat, <laughs> yeah, and it just yeah. says, "Do you even play that?" Wait, did they just said that? They just said that in draft. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The well. the members of Bandits of Bruce oh, are calling go. out. I think the 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 Rainer. We just saw an audible, so Tiger's actually supporting now. Yeah. I I mean, I was like, I've I, I've played with Tiger since like the beginning of Heroes of the Storm, like back when he was Kionda, like back when like. 
he wasn't even this was like he went through two names before he even got to Tiger JK. And I've never seen him play Rainer ever. This is heavy. Oh my god. Let's just get let's get into this cuz the left hand side we got the members of Ralph's Raiders. We got Heavy, the support player yeah. on Rainer. Carbon's going to be on the Lee Ming, Tremor's going to be on the ETC, Tiger JK is going to be on the Anduin and Valimar will be on the Chen. Yep, and on the side of the Bandits... Bandits Bruisers, man. What a tongue twister. Chijuggy's got on that Joanna. Best of team playing the Dahaka. Finally, you see Dahaka. Legacy on the Stukov. Centurion. Rockin' the Greyman. And I believe that's Bla uh, Mason Blaze on the Medivh. I don't know. I don't know uh, what's happening in our chat right now. But either way, we are going to be seeing them meet in mid lane for our first kind of little skirmish here. For anyone that's wondering for Medivh, because we'll keep up to date on these uh, stacks, they are going to be having that baseline arcane rift. You want to get 40 out of those. You want to get 40 stacks. If you die, you lose all of them, and you got to redo it again. So we'll, we'll keep you up to date on that information. Dahaka also going to be going into enhanced agility at level one as Gramian dives out. They're looking for a lot of damage on a trimmer, but the leap of faith will keep them alive, and the chastise slows things down as there's actually a quick rotation with the portal, looking to pressure them even further before even getting into bottom lane and they actually kind of split the enemy team and they're going to be able to just get into this bottom and start doing rotations and getting experience that's going to be the main factor between these core four between mid and bottom we should be seeing them split off and grab the sapper camps around the one minute mark in the game but a couple more waves as we do have chen versus dahaka in top lane dahaka already needing to tap well yeah i usually like seeing the medivs when they aggress a portal like that try to get ahead of the rotation that way you can kind of control of the other team from getting to that bottom lane and force a fight so i like to see that they're utilizing that right there they're they're being a little aggressive they have a pretty aggressive team um with the stukov support especially with anduin's cleanse being down here actually anduin getting caught out here then Turian is going to be able to follow up a nice silence and slow there from legacy i think since he picks this up able to take out one maybe even two here but you getting some damage there on the heavy Already a quarter of the way through those stacks at 10. Just real quick right there. Yeah, he's he's really aggressive with these Medivh Qs as well too, right? Mm -hmm. So he's playing confidently and his team's playing confidently with him. So we're seeing we're seeing a stack up really quickly. And controlling that bottom lane too, you know, having the Joanna for the wave clear, they're able to be ahead in these rotations. I mean, you see Tremor here slide to actually to peel for heavy. Knocking uh, the other team away with a W. Gonna be able to get him to safety there. Uh, but they are losing a lot of tower damage here, right? Like, look at that wall already. It's pretty much gone as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, someone I mean, could we're... spit on that tower, health. right? Yeah. yeah, it's like... That's like that's like a Stukov auto, I think, at this point. Yeah, probably. A gray, it's a gray it's main just cocktail. under. Like, Stukov autos for 306 at this point. So, yeah, it's just under, but either way, it's... It's a sneeze away either way. We get our first alter phase popping up here. That'll be at the three minute mark. It's gonna be top left and right and then in the lower position in our bottom lane. And sometimes it can be in this kind of mid position of the map where you can see it go all the way to the bottom. Right now it's gonna be in that announcement bottom, which is a little bit more of a I'd I, say I like this engagement a little bit more. This is advantage it's... for the Hawka too, right? Mind you, mm -hmm, this objective mm -hmm. is better for the Hawka because he gets to the dig behind. Um, yeah, the exactly. other objective There's... you can, but you, you the, the other team can go up or down, right? In this case, exactly. they have to go into him. Do we see that happening here? Legacy going for the initial channel. We do have the rest of uh, Ralph's Raiders stepping in. Tremor trying to find a little harassment onto Chuggy. As they have the lurking arm, Tiger may be looking for a channel onto this. No, they're going to go back and just heal up a little bit further. Top left and right are going to be traded out. The Hawk already going for the brush stock into the back lane right now. They're going to be looking for one that's heavy, taking a lot of damage. Leap of Faith will save Carbon. Heavy trying to get out of here. I don't know if they have a penetrating round lurking arm from the Stuke off the floor. So the backs and train going for the channel right now. Chen is rotating down. Do they have anyone to interrupt this? I don't think it's going to happen here. Chen's just a touch too late. ETC power slides in. This is going to be Legacy. They do have a portal. Oh my oh. god. Legacy almost going down as they actually pour up to the side over there. Heavy now on the wrong side of this engagement needs to get out. They're trying to get some healing from Tiger. Jen kicks out as well. Valimar a little bit low. A lot of the members of Ralph's Raiders just trying to find their way out of this engagement as the protection status from the people stayed Legacy. And this is actually, I don't know if you have protection on for Chuggy right there. They end up going down. Legacy very low once again. Is going to find the counter kill onto ETC. So that's going to be a one for one trade over the first objective with the majority of the shots raining out in favor for Bandit's. Bruisers. Did Legacy just Kobe the ETC there with a W? I think so. 
Yeah, that was insane. Like, I was like, oh, one for zero, that's fine. And then ETC's dead. Like, I, I have to assume that's what happened. A good little portal there to protect Vespertine. Looking to go back in, though. Maybe connect the tongue. I mean, he does have another protect legacy there as well to follow him up. Probably has a few souls in the bank. Um, but... Yeah, that that, uh, that was a crazy exchange. Actually, <laughs> I thought uh, I thought each team did played played that really well. Um, the objective was able to go to the side of Ben. It's Bruisers though, so they do have that shot lead here. But we are in a very very close game. Both teams almost equal experience, um, structurally fairly comparable. Obviously, they still have the well on the side of Ralph's Raider, so. We'll see as they're trying to push these sappers into this wall, maybe e even up the, the playing field when it comes to tower damage. Yeah, bottom lane is, is really what you want to control on this map, and they get two sappers in. Power slide from ETC. This is mostly just to save carbon. Actually, ETC just making the rotation up towards the top of the map as this is going to be our next objective phase coming up here. And ETC, I think, actually just comes back for a second. It's like, well, are you going to continue to siege down here, or are you going to play towards <laughs> the objective? And it seems like they're going to be, they're going towards the objective. Mediv and Chen should just trade these out. And, oh wait, no, we have a small skirmish. No, Tremor should be able to get out of here just fine. They got yeah, a lot of Unstoppable is going to be popped there from Juggy. Tremor walking away there. Probably still should have his slide up. Um, just exchanging damage. I'm not sure. Is the Mediv done with the stacks? So we have 29 stacks on the Q for Mediv. So getting fairly close. He doesn't want to die here, right? We're going to watch out for that. Maybe they're able to pick him up before he finishes off that quest. But he is trying his best to clear out mid. This is like the one weird thing about Medivh on this map. Is he kind of has to be like the mid soaker. Otherwise, you'll lose all that land. And I slide connecting Whoa. onto Legacy that Warb's going to miss. So from Carbon, um, not usual for him. Very good leaning player. Uh, but Heavy is caught out with a slow from Legacy. Unstoppable. Able to pull him out there from Tiger. Protect him from that cursed bullet. We have some CDs used, but no kills found for either side. Yeah, just a good back and forth thus far. 28 to 32 in core health. A little invade onto this camp over here, but no, it's 30 seconds for that one. So they're actually just going to move into mid lane. Bless Shield actually was ripped off the wall. They were looking for Carbon. They don't find it. Real big aggression coming out from the members of Bandits Bruisers looking to go up in this best of five series and try and take it to a game five. Chen kicking out the top lane. Going to get a tr drag from, from Vesper. I want to point out also that the um, Dehaka one does Symbiosis at level seven. Uh, typically, we see them go into Feeding Frenzy, if I'm not mistaken, so they can get the cooldown reduction on their Tongue Drag, but here they're going to be hmm. going into, um, every time Dark Swarm damages an enemy here, it reduces the cooldown by 0.4 seconds. So, if everyone's grouped up around you, that's that's consistent Dark Swarm value, so that'll work out for them. They also did go I think into he's, I think he's before. going the 16 armor, right? This is Liam, he's... We, he, again, I was playing with him last on, on Wednesday yeah, when yeah, the patch yeah. went through, and he was, he was very into the 16 talent, so... Uh, you can see here, the ISO is going to connect onto the ETC. The one thing... That I talked about last week, and the tongue as well, Liam, taking them out. Dahak just putting in that work. He might be able to pick up Alamar here, too, in a really bad position. The barrel is up, but a good CC chain could lead to a kill there. Um, yeah, I was talking about it last week. Dahak with isolation is one thing that shuts ETD down so hard, and we see that there. Able to connect, um, and a great tongue there on Heavy as well. Good play from Liam, and leading to a double shrine. Oh, bless mm -hmm. Shield, please. Hate to see when that happens. Tiger with it. Root there too, you're gonna be able to land onto Centurion, but Valmar taking a chunk of his health from that curse bullet. And we actually have Ralph's Raider showing up to the fight, maybe looking to pick off some stragglers, but Medivh portaling his team out to safety. And we're just gonna have a reset from there. And so now with that, we have 20 to 32 in core health. This is going to be the advantage for Bandit's Bruisers. They're looking like that game five is plausible here, but mm -hmm. it's Towers of Doom. It's mm -hmm. 71's game still. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens. I can't tell you how many of these games, you know, 4 to, to 20 health, it, it drastically changes. The next alter phase will be a single one in our mid position. So this is going to be a nice 5v5. We're going to see value from Dahaka getting some flank. We're going to see Medivh trying to get some polybomb value. Uh, right now, they're just trying to push in bottom lane a little bit further. They're also just kind of making sure the experience is coming in as the minions do die. It looks like Li Ming is also just soaking in through mid. They're just also going to have this 13 talent tier not too far off on the side of uh, Ralph's Raiders, but Bandit's Bruisers already have that. They could look to maybe play a little aggressive, maybe catch them out in these waves, but you can see I think they're just trying to rotate, get the quick clear, get back to the friendly side of the lane, and then just wait for another wave as uh, Divas portaling forward. Heavy just playing safe and is going to go ahead and use the penetrating round. ETC power slides away, face melts away, and I think they managed to just disengage away from that. 
There, dude, there's nothing more satisfying to me than watching Grey Mains take Curse Bullet and miss it, and then not get their passive and drop their movement speed. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, I really love to see the Quicksilver Bullet picked up from the Grey Main, um, and we saw their Centurion was kind of using that well. Uh, so the fight's gonna break out here. ETC looking for a mosh pit. Ooh. Joanna does a good job to dodge out, and the Blood Shield is gonna connect with a Light Bomb follow-up, only slowing Chijuggy. Zukov pushing back Shrimmer, but Heavy's putting about big damage on the back line there. Centurion and him trading some blows. You see the Keg W in the chat for Mason Blaze. Is he gonna be able to survive? The entire portal duration has been kegged up. Valmar kiting, doing his best to stagger. The heal's gonna pop there on the Mason Blaze. Isolation connecting on Valmar. Is he gonna go down? He is so very low, drinking it up. Look at all of this brew. He's doing such a good job in this stagger. Oh my God, they're trying so hard to kill him. They are able to pick him up. Legacy with a great shove. Car uh, Carvin does get the reset though. Maybe make it two. Chijuggy with a slide, make it three. And a full team, team wipe. wipe. Look at that from Ralph's Raiders. They're saying, you guys want to see a game five? Let's, uh, let's see what we have to say about that. Only able to pick up four shots from that though. So mind you, that was a was singular shrine, right? I was gonna. I was wondering if they were gonna snap pick the boss, but I actually really like this call instead. Go for the double sappers. Get more bottom lane pressure in your favor. Get rid of the pressure they can apply to you, and maybe get control over the lane. I, I think this is a better snap pick because I was just like, yeah, let's get eight shots. But then death timers. I mean, th they're just now coming back. They probably could have ripped boss, but I think this is this is gonna get them a lot more value down the road as well. They can get the next wave of sappers in with uh, the ones that heavy just grabbed. That'll be bottom link in their control. Uh, just peeking into the top lane really quickly between Vesper and Valamar. It looks like Vesper did finish out the enhanced agility from level one. So they have the increased uh, movement speed through the bushes by 20%. I think they move at 140% movement speed when they tap a bush. Yeah, 140 as I just looked. Um, so that's that's not bad for their Dahaka player. They can really kind of get into that back lane and, and chase a little bit, especially moving through the top to mid as well as they're doing a little bit of double soak and now portal forward carbon blinks away blush shield comes out but they're all in front of the gate thank god for the gate right now <laughs> chijuggy abusing the fact that you don't actually have to hit your target with joanna's blush shield as the blush shield finds its way to that Li Ming. um had it had been a level 20 then we would have just gotten a guaranteed two second stun which we love to see but uh, a good attempt there right recognize though that blush shield is down from the side of, uh, the side of yep. ralph's raiders so you know, maybe using that fact to abuse potential picks or forced fights. Um, they do have the level 16 advantage, so you, you typically want to try to play into that as well. And maybe the side of Bandit's Bruisers will recognize that as well and play more passively, try to defend this bottom keep. Something you do not want to do on this map is get checkmated um, into not having that bottom structure. So we'll see here as Trimmer tries his best to start this channel up. Looks like a trade going to be in the top right corner. Maybe the, the Hawka dig in early to force a fight. Yeah. So there's the Dahaka brush shot coming in. You can see them trying to chase in, but they immediately, I think they recognized that that was the game plan. So they just meet, they just rotated towards the bottom lane. They were like, well, that's actually a bless shield coming out. Curse bullet, face melt to push them away. They have Valimar jumping to the back line. Chen wandering keg is off cooldown. They could look for something with that. Mosh pits can be dropped by the ETC, connecting into two. There's gonna be a light bomb underneath them as well. That's going to be Medivh with the poly bomb. Gray may taking a lot of damage. He's gonna be at 130 some health. They're chasing into this. They have a face melt for the last little bit of damage. Gray main razor swipes to the minion wave. And I'm not sure which which fight to chase right here. Oh actually, Gray main rotates away. Heavy should be able to get the channel right now. And the member. Oh wait, hold on. Vesper. Oh, Ooh. This is portal up. I think this should be channel, and that is going to be 16 to 20 core health. And they get the bottom lane keep in their favor as well. Yeah, this is gonna. To me, this is the the downfall of uh this this map and potentially this team or the side of bandits bruisers being able to retake this bottom right is going to be very difficult for their team comp uh they could you know maybe have the game main dip in and shield but the side of ralph's raiders is just so strong at getting picks right so having anyone try to step up uh is going to be very difficult so the way that they're going to have to re win this objective is via a team fight man it just so happens to the bottom shrine is a solo shrine actually a good shell from legacy here the barrel is going to come out curse bullet going to connect keg w's for legacy there is a medivh though to protect him and portal him out to safety and a light bomb from tiger jk going to connect on a three legacy taking so low can carbon get the reset the poly bomb tying their whole team up though could cost from them their cheap birds something like that Centurion also with that movement speed at level 13 keeping his passive alive keeping that attack speed up He needs to continue to auto attack and this is an opportunity to retake this bottom keep possibly for the side of bandits bruisers 
the issue right now is is uh, Bandit's Bruisers have a lot of AoE things. Uh, Dark Swarm from Dahaka, Condemned from Joanna, so they're purposely getting hit by these abilities on the side of Ralph's Raiders, so that way the, t the keep will target the enemy hero and force them back. I was watching that the entire time, really well played in a defensive manner, but this should be alter over in favor for the members of Ralph's Raiders. They're actually going to go ahead and just steal the camp away. I think they, I think ETC might have scouted that out. Without Chen for the next seven seconds, a little risky right now. Mediva is also still scouting on top of ETC. I think they're going to rotate down and just go for the objective. Chen now coming back to Haka can get another wave in mid. I think they're going to give this. They're fine with, it looks like they're fine with taking a three shots shot while ETC too. might have been able to stop it. But yeah, they'll only take three. So it'll be 13 to 20 in core health, which is actually, I, that's, that's a big win for, for Bandit's Bruisers because not having to take five core damage, that's, 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 a, that's, that's a win in my book. Yeah, while the shots are, are good, you know, the thing that is continuing to persist is this bottom keep, right? And the yeah. fact that they didn't take that time, they instead opted to take the enemy's camp, I think a bit greedy of a play. There is a potential that they're able to get a double keep off of another team fight that could just close the game out now, right? As you look at the bottom structures, both are fairly weak. And, you know, this also opens up the opportunity to do boss, right? This is something that a lot of teams look to, to start. Maybe waiting for that chin to face check. Valmar being disciplined here. Uh, does he connect the Bless Shield, the Isolation, the follow of the Poly Bomb? It is going to be one, but Trimmer could look for a Mosh Pit and a turn here. Light Bomb is going to connect onto... Oh, Vespertine doing a little dance, a little jiggy, but that is the Dahaka, not the target you want to be focusing. But it is a reset from Carbon landing all those ability. The shield was on cooldown, I guess, from Mason on the Medivh. And the retreat has begun here. Chuchuggy doing his best and nice unstoppable with dodge the ETC slide. And they're just exchanging blows here. Need to be careful that Li Ming damage of the orbs are connecting and that resets. Uh, he hasn't actually taken level 4 talent. I was going to say the 4 talent, you know, CDR on max range orbs. He was connecting a lot of them, but... He's ended up going, what is that, a charge blast, right, at level 4 on the mean, Not something you typically see, but confident Leeming players do like to rock that talent for extra damage. For anyone wondering, because I did see the questions, uh, when it comes to quests and talents, Dahaka does have Enhanced Agility done, and Medivh Baseline Quest is completed as well. So, Medivh completed that Baseline Quest fairly early in the game, but for anyone wondering in chat, I did see that question. Arcane Rift Baseline is done. Uh, looks like they're going to rip a boss, and this is going to be a trade, but they're going to be dealing four core damage and taking five themselves. I, I actually, I think this is a It's a good trade. call. Yeah, this is yeah. A, this is actually a really strong call from... Oh, wait, this. no, no, they take eight? Oh, no, and the barrel's coming. Ooh, Wandering Keg is up and available. You nice, got to keep nice them off. Shove. No, Lesson this shield. is bad. Power side from the ETC. ETC's on it. They don't have Mosh Pit. That's going to be the Wandering Keg. It's going to be up and available. <gasps> they don't Wait. get it in time. Chen goes down. That's going to be the Stukov getting picked off. ETC gets picked off as well. Heavy standing on the point. Carbon is going to be throwing as much damage as they can. Centurion's going to be diving in as well. Wave of force from Li Ming. They this is absolute madness. Are we kidding with this? <laughs> Wait, is Tiger JK going to fall as well here? The chase is happening. Centurion picking him up. Li Ming going to be able to blink away for the time being, but... This is a Medivh chase. What an absolute madness of a team fight. Like, Carbon That's actually it. looking for resets, looking to make the play. He does have Wave of Force here in five seconds. If the Medivh shield is not on time, he could make a pick play happen, potentially a reset kill on Centurion. He is in uh, low health. They they need to, they're, they're panicking though. This is, you can see the panic happening in real time, right? They're trying to figure out what, what are they supposed to do? How did they win that fight for one? How did they win that objective? That looked disastrous. Yeah. And now here we are, potentially going to have double keep, right? The indestructible popped here. Uh, Medivh doing his best to just zone off that Li Ming. He needs to be careful, though. He could get Wave of Force into the dead zone. Um, but he chooses not to leave the bird form in true Medivh fashion. Uh, and we see now hopefully a double fort here as they'll probably back up and retake the bottom structure. I'm not sure. Maybe not. They just want to defend this. I'm so it confused, Baja. I don't know. I'm going to let you go now. I <laughs> just, just, I just hear I'm, the door I'm slam. They just got gone. these players are. They, they, they just need to make a decision, dude. Well, it's twenties up on both sides. Thirteen to eight in core health. The Dahaka retaking the right hand side. They are looking to actually regain the left. So I think this is just going to be them going for the conversion on the spell tower. Hyperion comes through. There's going to be actually Dahaka brush truck in. Light bomb comes out onto heavy. Wandering keg is pushing the Dahaka into the death zone. They're going to burrow for a second under the ground. They're going to be just body blocked. They're just trying to keep Dahaka over here. The poly bomb's going to come out, spreading to a couple members. Massive trouble will be there. And then Vesper is going to be going down. No one got the channel onto this altar just yet. As keg, keg is. Chen is gonna kick in. There we go. Words are hard. They don't get the altar or the temp uh, 
the keep turned back in their favor, but it's got like a sliver of health, 1,414. But look at this, Carbon's gonna go ahead and sneak over to the left-hand side, throws an arcane orb, and they can just zone this back. They'll only be getting three shots out, but they just still, three give shots it, is give better. it. No, I think you give it. You just have you to have get to it here, right? You have to, absolutely. You cannot afford a team wipe. Just get everyone out. The port, the, the oh god, and it's gonna oh, be a tour, tour bus. There's no CC to stop the dance, but Medivh's not falling though. He'll be able to shield himself. Maybe get out with a portal. The W is gonna stop him. He does die on the tail end somehow. Rainer's bullets chase after people in the portal. Legacy's gonna fall down as well. Reset's gonna happen. And Carbon with a wave of force pushing Centurion back. He is gonna be able to tumble at any second. He's trying to be a little too clean. Uh, then the team wipe happens. This is where all the structures fall, dude. This is not where you want to be at for the side Next of Bandit's Next altar Bruisers. phase. Next altar phase is going to be top left and right, and this is such a defensive good posture for the members of Ralph's Raiders. They only need one, having this bell tower converted in their favor. But they're gonna try and maybe feed Sappers in while there's three dead for the next average 30 some seconds. Yeah, this is bad. If they, might be able to, these... they might be able to six keep this, honestly. It's possible. Is top lane open? Top lane has got it's a lot fairly... more stage to go into it, but. I guess they have a chill on it. It won't be. It won't be okay. So, so they're they're in a really good position. The game's actually RNG'd out for them a bit, um, and giving them a double top shrine. So while this mid keep will fall, if they don't lose top right keep, then they'll be able to just passively retake mid, um, and then fight over the shrine. So the thing is, is they they could technically get blitzed out here on the top right, and even if they get back the bottom right keep, um, in this scenario. Uh, oh, the barrels. I think there's going to be a keg W in the bottom, too, to try to peel them off. An isolation can connect. Silence as well. Stukov, silence, root, combo. Are they going to be able to pick up Valmer? This is not where they need to be at. They are going to be able to possibly... Yeah, they finished off that top right keep, but the bottom right getting retaken. But this is now a 4v5, right? Diggs probably up on the Dehaka, possibly a full souls. Some CDs were just used. There is no mosh pit up. Curse bullet's still up. And I don't know what Mason Blaze is smoking, but... He's out of he's out of this world. He, he he went in. I think he forgot his health pool possibly there. Um, mosh pit tour bus legacy. Just be careful. Yeah, he's just ignoring it. Such, he such a good the tour play bus from the yes, the last Such a good play um, from legacy, and that's a GG. They they unable to stop the channel somewhere on the right, I guess. And Tigris Tigris snuck it. I was I was watching mini map the entire time. Just, just like I didn't even notice it, dude. Here? That's how much he snuck it. Just, just over here. I, I guess like, that's I've, that's why I've Mason. That's why do that. Mason was not smoking. I'm the one who's smoking here. Mason made the right play. He had to stop the channel, right? So he had to drop out. So it was actually the correct play from him. Um, oh man, and a heads up play from Tiger too. Uh, let's uh, let's go jump into this winners chat because I I'm let's let's just get in there. Let's let's see what this is all about. All right. Uh... Why not? Welcome. Congratulations, everybody. How are Ralph's Raiders doing after their 3-1 victory on Towers of Doom? We called you Ralph's Raiders, by the way. Woo! We are doing, <laughs> yeah, woo! Um, so let's, let's just dive into this game right here. Anduin, being played by Tiger and Hebby playing Raynor. Is this, what is, what is this? We, we were a little surprised by it when we got into game. I think I've played about two Rainer games in my whole life. That's all I need, baby. We were kind of just like, yeah. uh, we weren't sure about our last pick, so it's like just like a good meta pick, which is why I picked mm -hmm. Rainer. And then we didn't really have a, like a damage player that could play it well, or not play it well, but like comfortable on it. So we swapped heavy to it. What were you I'm... going to pick? Uh, I shouted out Butcher randomly, and I ran the draft. <laughs> He said butcher. I said I'm freaking down. Let's do it. And our team was like crying, so we couldn't do it. Were you? I, I thought you were gonna go Kerrigan or Mayev with the Anduin pick. Yeah, we're, it was either Kerrigan or, but then they said Rainy. So whatever. It's not 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 bad whatsoever. I, I really really enjoyed it. Um, the sneak at the end right there. You know. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you know, Medivh drops <laughs> down, he's, he's said, echoing oh. the rest of the team. There's a mosh pit that's happening from Tremor. He tries to, uh, he tries to, tries to tour bus and then he gets massive shoved and all of a sudden the game's over and you're just over on the right-hand side channel. Okay, honestly, when the Grameen wasn't watching and he walked right past, he zoomed right past me on Mount while I was capping. No. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, I didn't, I didn't even see it. Like, I, 
the game was over and I saw you on the mini map and I was like, wait, did they get it? Ramy <laughs> tours. Yeah, he was like watching the fight, so he just ran past me and I was giggling inside, you know, and then he went. I honestly was like, I think I had looked at the map and I thought that the game was gonna continue. Like I was like, I was like, oh my god, this is this is continuing, and then I was like, wait, we just we lost? Like what? And then and then Bob was like, "Yeah, you just back half." So I was like, "Wasn't their whole team? Wasn't wasn't this like a four v four? Like, yeah, I don't. Yeah, that was that was wild. I don't know. I thought you guys had possibly threw when Valimar died bottom. Um, and then um, all, all I heard was Tiger shouting, "We, I won the game. I won the game." <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. First of all, I, I didn't Tiger. tell them. I didn't. I didn't tell them I was back capping. I was being super quiet, super sneaky. You know. And then I was silently capping, and then when I capped, I was like, we won. It's one of those things that, like, if, if your team doesn't even know, the enemy team can't even know. The other yeah, team will be, walk yeah. right past it's you. It's 300 IQ. <laughs> like, it's brilliant. Yeah. You have to be very quiet, you know? <laughs> no, these games are, were, are awesome. Mac, do you have any questions for, for these I'm, players? Uh, my only question is... Wait, I have okay. a question, too. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, you okay. Got a question. Was Butcher the reason why we lost? No, right? I was stacked. I, I I did note that you pretty much got everything you could have ever wanted on Butcher and you still lost. So the characters. <laughs> I'm uh, you know what I'm gonna say on the side with chat because chat called it out. There was a very aggressive camp invade after you all like wiped and then you invaded a camp and then like four died. I'm gonna say it's that one. That was it. It's that camp invade. That was somehow Butcher's fault. Uh, there you go. That's you guys did invade, you, did, you did invade their camp when they had the objective and camp switching on you and you just oh wait wait the the, Valamar was the tread or he he led he led the battle there he was like all the way up there and died right that yeah, one it, I mean it was it was a it was a team fight but like I'm not really sure about taking the team fight as you know they're they have the objective so if you lose it you just lose the game you know what I'm saying you're doing uh, double or nothing yeah because they they had 38 skills to wait I thought we won the game when I lammed uh. uh I landed Malfiel top lane, and I thought we were gonna kill him. And oh, was that the won. top fight? Yeah. No, no, no. This, Dude, that, was, that, that was a that was a different fight. That, that was, was when he, fight, yeah. he got Nano tormented and moshed. I like it was just like everything was on Malfiel, and they didn't die still. Yeah, that's what Nano Malfiel looks like though. When you have a butcher slapping him. Dude, butcher is so good. <laughs> you could have been like I, you could have been carrying that game, and you would have been like popping. <laughs> like then you would have actually been able to kill. <laughs> stuff. That's true, but butcher, <laughs> butcher though. But butcher, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm good though. These games, no, these games are so much, fun, so much fun. Thank you for for playing and and doing our interview here. Um, before we let you run out, are there any shots that you'd like to give? We we can start with Carbon at the top if you have any. Um, shout out to CPX. Oh, standard. <laughs> shout out to CPX. Oh, I can't think of any. <laughs> shout out to I'm CPX. Just too excited. The air is electric. Uh, shout out to you guys for casting. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for casting these games. And yeah, twitch.tv slash freepx. Perfect. Awesome, awesome. Well, that's my so finger. Twitch.tv slash freepx. You, you guys go. for casting and Porky. Ooh, Porky. Shout out to chat. Ooh. Even, when, even when Porky's not here, the Medivh picks Polybomb. Ooh, that polybomb didn't mess well, you guys up bottom though. I can't lie. But... Yeah. Oh, we got destroyed that fight. <laughs> yeah, that was so embarrassing. That was, that was polybomb, by the way. Shout out to chat. You know, McIntyre's chat. Wait, are you guys streaming on Heroes Hearth? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Heroes Hearth chat, you know? <laughs> there was a good 200 oh. viewers watching tonight, so. Ooh. Oh, the Butcher oh, game is for you guys, okay? Was, they were watching the Butcher game, and then we lost about 60 after the Butcher game. Uh, <laughs> honestly, when I picked Butcher, everyone on my team side, and I knew we lost the game. He just does it for attention. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Ooh, I'm, I'm me. okay. I, on, on a caster end, I'm okay with this, so... That's, that's all I'll say on that note. <laughs> oh, uh, look at so me. Thank you for the interview. Thank you so much for the games. Uh, you all, congratulations on your victory in the uh, Week 8 of the IHL, and uh, have a wonderful night. McIntyre going to get out of your hair and let you celebrate. Thank you. Later, guys. GG's. Have a good one. Later. All righty. We are back together. Uh, They're going to go buy themselves a bunch of pizza and Taco Bell and enjoy themselves. But that is going to wrap it up for the IHL season number one. Uh, we'll be back sometime soon. Keep your eyes peeled for information for that. Um, To fill that void starting next week, Wednesday, 9 o'clock EDT, we'll have two best of threes on this channel. 
and that is going to be CCL season two. If you don't know what it is, well, keep your eyes peeled on all the information coming out this week because there's mm-hmm. going to be more and more revealed as we get closer and closer to the date. So I hope you all stick around for that. Um, until then, where can people find you, McIntyre? You can find me at twitch.tv McIntyre, but a lot of the content that I'm doing uh, for Game Solid Days is going to be found through the Heroes Earth channel or um, now it's Giant Slayer Valorant. I'm doing a lot of mm-hmm. Valorant stuff. So if you guys are into Valorant or want to start to learn more about it, I would definitely check out um, our YouTube channel and our Twitter as we're very active in that game. And I, that's a lot of what I've been doing. But I still love Heroes. And I, I'm, I'm, I get excited every time I get to come back and cast these games on Monday. So I'm sad that eh, I, don't, I won't have this anymore. But, you know, we will have the season two season, season two of CCL. So that'll, that'll be fun to watch. Lots of good stuff coming up. Uh, yes, definitely a lot of good guides there. If you want to learn how to, uh, if you want to learn the map a little bit more, there's really good mm-hmm. guides on Valorant. If guns, you want to learn, if you want to learn more about Here's the Storm on the Heroes the, on the Heroes Hearth YouTube page, there's there's build guides. There's um, there's good uh, strategy guides from Kyle Ferguson. There's there's just competitive videos on the CCL YouTube page. There's tons of content out there that you can find on Giant Slater Heroes Hearth or the CCL YouTube pages. Um, so definitely check those out. Uh, go ahead and subscribe there so you can see all of the wonderful stuff that's popping into those YouTube pages. You can watch while you're eating your deli sandwich. You can watch a Kyle Ferguson video. It's just perfect right there. Or you can mm-hmm. watch how to properly play one of the maps on Valorant. But um, you can find me, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube everywhere, Bahamut Gaming. Um, thanks for hanging out with us, everyone, for the IHL. We'll see you all next week for CCL. Until then, stay safe, and we'll see you in the Nexus. Hi, guys. <laughs>